Hello and welcome back to Ezoic Blogging 101. Did you know that with Ezoic, you can block ads by either a specific page, you can block a specific advertiser from showing on your site altogether, or you can even block general ad categories. Ezoic has a ton of control and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below and you can get weekly tips like this delivered to your, your YouTube every single week. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the way you will find these controls are from the monetization tab in your Ezoic account. Scroll down, and once you get past the section with your placeholders, you'll begin to see a few more settings within here. The first one is maximum ads per page. So if you want to set a maximum number of ads to display on a page based upon its word length, then you have the option to do that. We recommend leaving it untouched because our system is always testing it and figuring out what works best for your site for different users. Continue scrolling down. You'll get to the advertiser blocker. Let's say, for example, you didn't want to show any ads from homedepot.com. Not sure why you would want to do that. Maybe you're running a store about home goods and they're a competitor, but you can simply enter their advertiser, click save, and that will prevent that specific advertiser from showing on your site. This is useful if you see a bad ad um, and you wanna make sure that that advertiser never displays again. Continue on down, you'll see ad categories, hit the settings. You can block general categories like politics, dating, et cetera, or you can keep them on your site if you don't mind them and you wanna maximize your revenue. All controlled in here. Finally, let's say you wanna disable ads on a specific page. It could be an about us page. It could be a subscriber page. Maybe it's a page where you have affiliate links and you don't want the ads to impact that. Go in here. You'll see you can select page rules. We'll do it the URL, click new rule, and then you can select page or directory and then enter the ending part of that URL to make sure it's blocked. As you can see here, the subscribe page is blocked so that ads don't impact the experience for users trying to subscribe and grow your email list. So those are just a few ways that you can control the ads on your site, how many show, what pages show them, what advertisers, and what ad categories display. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and see you next time on Ezoic Blogging 101.